Hello everybody, how is it going? Do I even have to, like, keep saying I'm playing law? <laughs> I'm playing law. Uh, against, uh, Crocodile. Who, uh, I can't tell if got, if he got better in this format because of the white beard hits or worse. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm pretty unsure, uh, on that. But our, our opening hand is, <laughs> it's a little bit rough. And I do something that I always, I feel like I always tell everybody not to do. And I play my Bonnies before I can, you know, protect them, basically. But, uh, the only reason I did that was because I was in the Crocodile matchup. And the only way I get punished is if he, like, 3,000 worlds my Bonnie. And because I had two, I'm like, alright, I can eat a 3,000 worlds on one of them. And honestly, I don't even think Crocodile would really want to do that. Because it's, it's a 4 dawn commitment to bottom deck a 1 cost. So, you know, fair enough if he did go for it, but... Yeah, that's just what I ended up doing. Uh, our goal now is just <laughs> get our board full so I can turn my Bonnie sideways. So, uh, we did it pretty well. We're going to be pretty low on cards for a little bit until we can start building them back with the Bonnies and stuff. So, just how it is. We'll take uh, our next life hit because... Trigger Pistol. I think I should have used that. <laughs> I'm so not used to, to playing Pistol that, like... My only trigger was Radical Beam, and I was like almost never using that, so definitely a misplay for not triggering that. Could have just easily added the Dofi block here, so that's my bad. Um, also, so far I don't know how much I'm liking the pistols. I don't think they're bad. Um, you know, it brings me back to playing an OPO2, so um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have to test more and get back to you guys and how I'm liking them. Obviously, off life, they're almost always going to be good, and I should have taken that, but I was kind of autopilot, just like no trigger. So, um, yeah, gotta remember that. Because <laughs> uh, he would have either had to eat that 7k hit there or um, taken that life. So, yeah, definitely a misplay. But he uh, 3000 worlds my uh, my blocker law, which, yeah, I, I kind of would expect him to. Um, to save that for my blocker laws rather than my bonnies so yeah didn't get punished by playing them all good so he does clear my bonnie and then goes nine at lead i'm very willing to uh <laughs> to go down to one probably even zero in this matchup just because uh the only rush they have is like usopp and i think it's pretty rare for a crocodile to actually play usopp he also might have the east blue restriction i'm not too sure but uh yeah, you know, the Pacifista would be a great jet pistol target, but I'd rather have my board established than take the pistol here. And, uh, we can pretty efficient, like, trade pretty efficiently by Otamaing the, uh, the Pacifista. So that's what we'll do. We'll go 7 into 4, ask him for double 2k. And he does actually give me double 2k. I was uh, a little bit surprised on it. Usually when you Otama something, people don't want to go super minus in their hand to do it. So maybe I was supposed to put one more Dawn on my uh, on my leader there. But uh, I'm kind of cool with him dropping two cards. And uh, I'll actually make him drop one more <laughs> by replaying the Brook. Just because we don't have anything super great to replay off of our blocker law. And honestly, he'll probably clear the Veggie. So he'll, he'll get his value. And yeah, he does. We'll get Mihawked on our... Blocker law again. <laughs> we'll eventually be able to, to fish those laws back out from the bottom. Because we do have double Bonnie, so. Now we have triple Bonnie. <laughs> it's a matter of time. But we find one that uh is probably what? There's two others that aren't on the bottom, so. We find one of them. So not bad. And uh, right here we do have a. Uh, we can get a little bit devious with our. <laughs> with the jet pistol we have. This uh. This is how you use uh. Out Newgate in OPO2. <laughs> you just double Otama him and then pistol him. When you're set up, it's pretty easy to do. So yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just go one down on lead and attack the Pacifista for six. Potentially clearing his whole board. But he doesn't let it go, and I think that's fair. We'll pass it back. He's on ten down. So he can start using like his uh his leader effect. Unless he wants to, you know, keep me hawking. But he does 3,000 worlds, my law. <laughs> he had another one to the bottom. So uh, we have one more that we can find pretty easily. And honestly, after enough searches, we will be able to get back to the other ones. In a way, we kind of have an infinite amount of laws right now. 
but he'll go one dawn and pass Vista. Minus four dawn to bounce the chopper. And uh, goes 8k at my lead. I will counter out of this one. Just because uh, I'd have to drop three cards on his uh, on his leader hit if I didn't. So that's what we'll end up doing. Drawn to another Otama. Almost end my turn. <laughs> Thankfully I didn't. We'll activate the Vani. We find the, the fourth law. Or, uh, we're gaming. We'll play the Otama. Minus two to the Pacifista. We'll hit him for four with our Brook. He'll finally let it go. Very good. We'll play down... Probably the Chopper. I'm probably just thinking on what the rest of my Dawn is going to do this turn. We'll bounce Otama, play Blocker Law, bounce Otama, play it to Dawn, find another Otama. Not bad. Decide to attack for 7. Mainly just because if I attack for 9, he was obviously always taking it, but if I swing for 7, there's a, there's a very slight chance he chucks his other 2 cards and uh, counters out of that hit. And I'd rather that than him take it, honestly. But we pass it back. He is on 8 done now because he used his leader last turn. Plays a Sogwe King. Bounces my 5 drop law. Discards <laughs> both versions of Mihawk. He'll attack 4 5 at my Bonnie. I will decide to save it just because uh, he has 1 Dawn. It's not, uh, not going to be able to do anything to affect the Bonnie. And we pick up a jet pistol, which is pretty good. We'll activate the Bonnie on board, pick up a restand law. We will we will think about jet pistoling the Soga King. <laughs> I do think I end up jet pistoling it, yeah. And then uh we just have to fill up their sort of boredom at five down left. So if we want, we could play another Bonnie. And that's what we end up doing. We'll pick up a Rush Zoro. And Psyche, we'll pick up a Veggie. I think that's fair, because I can replay to Dawn off of uh off of my blocker law. And um if I play down the Veggie, it means I don't have to just like float a um a Bonnie on board or an Otama. So I don't disagree with the play. I uh I bounce back one of my Bonnies. I honestly I could have replayed the to Dawn, might have just been better. That's obviously what I was thinking just a second ago, but past me did not think that. Um, yeah, I think e either way it's fine. I have a lot of counter in hand if he, like, outs my, my veggie and then, like, leader affects my law. I should be able to live. So, uh, maybe, maybe that's why I just wanted the most amount of counter I can get in hand. But usually the Dawn would find me a, a 2k. But on the off chance it didn't, I guess I would get punished. So he'll go see how many dawn on leader. <laughs> go three, three dawn on leader, attack me for eight. I will use the veggie. I'm not really worried about dying this turn now. Cause like he could stack um, <laughs> how much dawn? Seven dawn on my, his blocker law and attack me for eight. And even then I wouldn't have to give up my blocker law, so all good. Play down Gecko into a Blocker Dofi. And uh, bottom decks the five cards he looks with the Blocker Dofi. Uses Leader Effect, bounces my Blocker Law once again. We'll draw a Dadon. We'll play the Dadon, find a Nami. We'll play the Nami. Probably take the Chopper here. Yeah, we'll take the Chopper. We'll activate our Bonnie have another blocker law so we did get all the way back we actually grabbed the, the Zoro and I think that's fair because we do have two resand laws so if we can stick a supernova that would be very good we'll attack for five with the dawn we'll attack for five with our leader he'll counter for one we use leader effect take back the dawn play our law bounce and then play our Zoro I don't end up putting the one Dawn on him just because it was like, he has two blockers. The one Dawn probably won't make a huge difference. I guess it potentially could have if he doesn't have a 2k, so. Probably he was just supposed to slam the one extra Dawn on the Zoro. But now he thinks I'm, uh, I'm sacking him with the one Radical Beam. 
That's uh, it's mind games. <laughs> but we have a kind of a ton of counter in hand. I don't think we have any non counter in our hand, so we should be chilling. Well, 2k, 1k out of a 7k hit from the gecko. We'll go seven with this lead. I'll counter out of this as well, just because he could go like eight on the Dofi. But uh, it ends up playing a Bartholomew Kuma. Fair enough. Now my board is full and I did like grab a Vista. So I could have like sacked something off for the Vista to uh to KO the, the law. Which could have been fine, but I really don't like sacking off cards in law if I don't have to. Usually in rough spots if I have to sack off cards. But we'll go 2 Dawn on the Dawn, attack for 5. We'll go 3 Dawn on Nami, attack for 5. He'll block with uh, his blocker law. We'll attack for 5 with leader. He'll counter for 2. We'll attack for 5 with Zoro. He'll block with Dofi. We'll attack for 6 with our law. And then, uh, you already know. <laughs> we gotta stack the last 5 Dawn on Chaffer. And attack for game. Absolutely required. Well... Thank you guys for watching.